Hello friends, in my previous video, I have discussed that reduction of nonlinear distortion using negative feedback and there I have discussed this circuit where if you observe the middle this one is basically class B amplifier and you know that in class B amplifier in the output side there is crossover distortion that is when the input sine waveform is crossing from positive to negative half cycle or negative to positive half cycle then there is a particular region in which the output is zero for any input okay so that is crossover distortion and to reduce the crossover distortion we use this negative feedback scheme which I already discussed in my previous video that we use one op amp where in the positive side of the op amp we give the input and in the negative side we feedback the output okay so basically this thing I am going to show you in my this video as a practical implementation okay because until you visualize something the concept will not be clear and if you see that what is happening in practical then the concept will be there in your mind for a longer period of time okay so this i am going to show you by simulating but in which software i am going to simulate as we we are discussing the feedback amplifier module in terms of block diagram so i am going to show you in simulink okay in matlab and simulink i am going to show you because as a block diagram based software simulink is one of the best working processor uh, it's a best working tool and its result you can believe blindly okay so let me open simulink so first let me uh, try to uh, implement uh, one class B amplifier, simple class B amplifier, then I will show you the uh, modification to overcome the crossover distortion. So for that, first I have opened the uh, Simulink. Now go to library browser. Then just wait for a while. Yeah. Now first obviously we our need is sine wave, right? So sine wave S-I-N-E sign wave and right here and click enter then take the sign wave ok fine now again go to library browser and then see in crossover to produce crossover distortion we require this block and this is very important that is go to continuous and no actually not continuous that will be one second uh, that will be go to discontinuous and go in discontinuous use see dead zone so in crossover distortion as the output is zero when input is crossing from positive to negative or negative to positive so that can be denoted by dead zone right to indicate that the output is zero fine now state uh, start of dead zone later we will define so now to check the output we require scope click enter take this scope and the number of input ports will be 2 ok now one input will be connected with the output of the dead zone dead zone input will be connected with the sine wave and the other input of the scope will go and connect with the input sine wave form fine so this is basically our circuit now double click amplitude let me make 2 volt dead zone let us check start of dead zone end of dead zone ok fine no issue now just simulate yeah now double click on this scope and see First, let me uh, differentiate in between input and output. 
so go to layout and make this so now see if this is my input waveform see what type of output waveform we are getting see here there is crossover distortion that is when input is crossing from positive to negative half cycle there is a particular region in which the output is zero okay so if i combine this to also see now you can clearly observe the blue one is basically output which is giving a dead zone when there is a crossing from positive to negative half cycle of the input everywhere it is giving right now this is basically one kind of uh, sim similar implementation of class b amplifier in simulink fine now try to understand this block so now what we are doing to avoid the crossover distortion we are giving the output in an operation amplifier in operation amplifier how i am giving observe it clearly input is giving in the positive uh, positive uh, positive port and output is giving in the negative pin so that means the expression is basically if the gain of the op amp is a then the output will be output of the op amp will be what a into input minus output okay so first step is first copy this so that we can compare it later control c then paste it here control v okay now what i am going to do first let me shift this little bit now this also because this is input it will not going to change now remove this block here we have to add one op amp op amp means first c the expression is a into v in minus v out so v in minus v out means we need one subtractor right so subtractor you just write here click enter no result found okay let us go to math operator directly and try to find where is subtractor uh, yeah here see here subtractor is there so subtractor we got now see subtractor okay later we will connect another block as op amp has gain a into v in minus v out so we require gain block also so let us take gain block click enter and see gain block we are getting so now here put the gain block fine now it is asking for the gain and as i told you in my previous video that to reduce the nonlinear distortion using negative feedback the pre amplifier see basically this is acting like a pre amplifier the pre amplifier should have very high gain so let me take 50 okay so fine now the input of the gain block or amplifier will be from the differentiator and the output of the gain block will connect to the what that is our that uh, dead zone uh, block and in the as the expression is v in minus v out in the op amp so positive will be connected with the input and negative see how i am connecting it will be connected with the output so output means to, with the output of the dead zone right so this comes our block so let me scroll down sorry yeah so this becomes our block now in this case what we should observe see dead zone we have not hampered the same dead zone block we are using from the first one to second one what we have done we have just added one pre amplifier with a differentiator that means this is acting like a op amp with a very high gain value as we have uh, discussed in our previous video that is uh, in the class b amplifier the output is fed back in the op amp in the negative pin input is provided in the positive pin that is the output of the op amp will be a into v in minus v out that's what similar sort of thing we have implemented in simulink now according to our theoretical concept we should not get any kind of crossover distortion in this case now let us see whether our theory is matching with the practical because verification of theory is most important you should not blindly believe in some concept 
So now compilation is done. Now see, this is the previous block. If you do double click on this code, here you can clearly see that here crossover distortion is there. Okay, fine. We, it should get right because here we have not added any open. But now there is this is the time to verify. Now if you double click on this code, see almost output and input are superimposed on each other. I hope you cannot uh, differentiate properly, but if you clearly, very closely observe, attentively observe, then you can see that this is the yellow waveform and the blue waveform is almost superimposed. For better visualization, just separate this. So view, then layout, then two column method and see now you can clearly observe this is the input and this is the output and the notable thing is there is no crossover distortion but if you very clearly observe there is a very small crossover distortion in this part. So what we can do? We can increase the gain of the uh, op amp suppose from 50 to 100 if we make. So uh, now if, if you simulate now if you double click on this scope. Now see there is almost no crossover distortion in the when the input is crossing from positive to negative or whether negative to positive output is smooth one okay. So in this way we are getting the concept that whatever we have studied in theory that is matching with the practical that this is basically one kind of simulation of class B amplifier with a dead zone block. Now same dead zone block we are applying but what we are giving we are providing one negative feedback using one op amp with a very high gain value and how we are providing see the configuration is important in the input is applied in the positive pin output is applied in the negative pin in this way we can overcome the effect of the dead zone block okay so I hope you have understood clearly that okay this is working so our theory is verified so if we want to implement class B amplifier without any crossover distortion we can apply one op amp previous to class B amplifier block with a very high gain value and input should be provided in the positive pin output should be provided in the negative pin okay. So this is all for my this video. For more videos related to electronics and communication engineering, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.